You know what's on my mind today? Or should I say who's on my mind? Henry C. and other billionaires like him here on my daily thought bubble. I want you to imagine this. Imagine being any one of the following. Either somebody who's selling a product or service that you want to sell in SM department store. Or maybe you're a contractor or a supplier that wants to provide the SM group of companies one of your products or services. Or maybe you're an employee that works for them. Or maybe you're a retail store owner that wants to lease space in their mall. In all these circumstances, to interact with them, there is one requirement they need you to have is to have a bank account with BDO. And that is where it is brilliant. Imagine this. Let's say you're an employee or a contractor or a merchant, right? And they owe you money for your services or your products. And then they pay you by transferring money in your BDO account or in your account that's BDO that they own. So in reality, they still have the money because it's in their bank. All they're doing is creating a, an accounting entry to let you know that it's in your account, but it's in their bank. So they're still holding on to the money. That's just brilliant. So in reality, they never really paid you anything. They just made it feel like they paid you something. And as long as you feel like you have it, that's good enough because most of us, if not all of us, don't really have all our money hidden in our, under our beds. Most of our money is in a bank account. Now, what about the retail store owner that wants to open a store in an SM mall? What they do is they have to open a BDO account, and in that BDO account, they have to put their money there so that they'll have money to pay for the rent. So in essence, even before they pay rent, they already have money with BDO. So... Henry C. or his group of companies already has your money before you even paid the rent. And for all the sales that you're generating, you're probably going to deposit it into that BDO account, into their bank. So they have your money. You don't have your money. They have your money. And that's the magic of having a bank. And it's incredible. So think about it. All these payments made are just accounting entries. There are no actual money transfers being done because all of it is within the ecosystem of BDO, their bank. That money is completely intact in their possession the whole time. And because they have the money and they're trusted with that money, they can do whatever they want with it. So imagine if I own the bank, I don't have money and I own the bank, let's say. So all the people deposited money into my bank, I can use all that money and I'm earning money from money that I don't own, from other people's money. So they can loan it out to somebody for an interest rate of 6 to 10% and they're earning 6 to 10% of money that they don't own, of somebody else's money, of your money. Fascinating and just brilliant. And that's why Henry C. and other billionaires that own banks are on my mind today here on my daily thought bubble hey everyone if you enjoyed this video and all my other videos please subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the link below and clicking on the bell to get notified of my latest videos i'll see you guys in the next